Hello, healthy game. How are you guys doing? It's me again. Coming back to you guys with another um, health tip. Um, things that I have in my regimen um, for when I'm uh, having a yeast infection. It's not that often that I do have it, but I know some things like um, when you're a diabetic or um, your thyroid, you have thyroid issues, um, you're prone to more yeast infections. So, um, and when I first was discovered that um, diagnosed with uh, thyroid issues, I was having yeast infections back to back on top of what, you know, my weight, not cleaning my colon out uh, thoroughly, contribute to the growth of the yeast. So um, through my years, I've learned and researched to see what I can do to help eliminate so much um, having so many uh, yeast infections. So now I may have maybe just one now out of the year, if any. Um, so, but um, I much learned with, well, this is on for another, um, with like a douche that helped give you relief instantly. But I'm not going to bring that one to tip today. But, um, as you guys know, my trusty dandy echinacea, you don't have to use a lot of this. It goes a long way, and it looks like only when uh, the bag is open, you can tell that I used it. But when you squeeze the air out of it, it don't look like I used any. But anyhow, this is good for fighting off infection. It, it causes, like it tells the white blood cells to start attacking the yeast. So, um, this is good, especially like if you don't know the symptoms of yeast besides the itching where you're just scratching like you just oh, you got a good tar and you just want to scratch, you know. But, um, yeah, sometimes you may think because you, you shaved and those hairs will come back sometimes that and that's not the case while you're itching um, if you notice you're itching like when it get hot that can be a sin, a sign that you having an overgrowth um, down there so drinking this um, three times a day as much as you can consume this helps you with fighting off bacteria and infections in the body so um and as well i said that i was going to come to you guys with some other stuff that uh, i use and um this is this little bottle used to be 28.99 it is now 35.99 it is good and i've been using this since 2006 when I found it and it's a re pH pH uh, refresh <coughs> pro B probiotic female supplement balance yeast and balance and I mean and bacteria to maintain feminine health so it helps to balance the yeast and the bacteria to manage uh, good feminine health as well as I use um, ozo, azo, whatever you want to call it um, it helps with vaginal symptoms, occasional uh, odor, discharge, itching, burning so this one here is a good one as well so like if you didn't have the cream because I make my own cream I'm going to leave that um, down below and like when you make your cream um, this is um, what I add like you ball a little bit and just pour maybe a tablespoon inside of it inside of the, um, the suppository mix um, 
and as well as um, this one I showed you you guys this one on one of my videos this is uh, a um, probiotic prebiotics and it has uh, cranberries in it and it's good to help with um, for like if you have a um, yeast infection that's causing you to have urinary tract infection this helps with it with the urinary tract as well so that's why I like taking this one along with these that I'm showing you um, so they're good to take not only um, should you take those and make sure you drink plenty of water to flush all the the bacteria out you want to stay away from sugars sodas starches that sort of thing um, and when you're doing it when you go to the bathroom make sure I know sometimes especially when you have an um, uh, bacteria infection yeast and stuff going on sometimes you can't get to the bathroom in time because you have to really go so you won't be able to put the gloves on but just make sure you wash your hands after and use wipes to wipe you and then use the tissue to like come behind with the second wipe and this is a uh, probiotic with apodopolis in it um, I like using this because this one has one milligram and the other probiotic has 60 milligrams so I use it that to um to help give me the, the probiotics that I need for the day and um candida cleanse you've seen this on my other video when I did the suppositories but I use this as well I've been looking for me a um an ice tray with the little round ones I saw it but they probably be like big balls so they probably be served like the um the little pearl ones where you pay um uh, for one a day or sometimes you get three pearls for like whatever it's gonna be about that size like if I flip the two trays over on top of each other that's what how much it would be once it's sealed maybe a little bigger um but I saw that at the um the dollar store of the day I didn't get it but I, I think I need to go back so I can make me some more suppository just in case um, I have one um, but if this the candida cleanse it promotes uh, health of flora and balance strengthen natural repent repent repentance to look natural replenish to to Im, imbalance so it helps to strengthen and rebalance um, the floor. So, so making sure you're just getting everything out. And one more though, I have, I take vitamin C as well. So vitamin C is good for you to take. Um, uh, let's see it says vitamin C and echinacea helps the body fight an acute yeast infection by strengthening the immune system vitamin C appears to inhibit the yeast growth and echinacea may signal the white blood cells to attack yeast and another one that I'm going to add to my regimen and that I want to put a few drops into my yeast um ball my yeast balls um garlic extract garlic extract will garlic extract is another immune stimulator and infection fighter so yeah those are two things that I will be adding to uh, my next batch when I um make some more so but I'm I'm gonna be leaving that recipe um for the yeast balls um, just keep them in the refrigerator um, like I said make sure you drink a lot of water to flush it out do your bowel clean so you can get all that help to move all that yeast out of you um, stay away from sugars starches breads 
Um, yeah. So, as you know, a lot of my videos will be geared to telling you to do a bowel clean because a lot of our problems live in the gut. And if we can keep all that moving, like I said, we don't know what we're actually eating that's contributing to our sickness and body dysfunctioning. So, if you can keep the bowel movement, you'll be less prone to infections and diseases because they don't have nowhere to live. They're just like if you ever got some food and it instantly made you go to the bathroom, there was just some, something, uh, you know that, it, that something in there wasn't clean because it's coming right back and they gave you instant diarrhea. So, yeah, you want to just make sure that um, that virus or whatever, it, it can't survive because it's going to come right back out because you're constantly doing something to cause it to not be able to adhere to anything because there's nothing there it's just coming straight out so I hope you find this video helpful um, as well as like on my other video you, like if you in the tub you put you some rock salt rock salt to help take all the swelling out that maybe if you have scratched and got it inflamed you can do rock soft bath or either you can get your little foot tub like thing that I have and you can sit your bottom in there um, make the water as hot as you can stand it um, trying to think what else and put a little tea tree oil um, in there as well it's gonna, that's gonna help with the bacteria to fight off the bacteria um, as well as you can do apple cider vinegar I find that those three things work together so well with helping eliminate the the infections that um that you may feel at that time. So um, um and I'm I'm trying to think of everything. And as well as if you want to do a douche, my um daughter had told me this um maybe a year ago. Uh, where you put you put some water in there at the last, but you put one moment. Yes, and I, but I think everybody um pretty much know about this douche, and everybody have their own way of making their own douche. Um, but I was sharing with my daughter before I say that. I was sharing with my daughter there was this good douche and I hate that they took it off because that douche was awesome anybody my age and older can test to that that Max and Gill powder um, douche uh, was awesome you talk about that saying where they said man you will never know if your wife is having sex because all she had to do is douche that was Max and Gill that everybody was using back then um, Max and Gill would make you so tight to when you try to be intimate it's like you're a virgin again and they took that off the market but what I was trying to say about the homemade douche um, you do um, part one part of uh, peroxide maybe a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar one drop of tea tree and um, the remaining water and you should feel a little burning um, with it because it's killing um, off the that bacteria helping you with the bacteria um, so, and I found that to be a great help of relief. So, I'm going to try to remember that to put that down in there as well. So, anything that you can um, to help eliminate anything, it's not going to hurt you. This, you know, your body, just like I try to get everybody to see, you go to the doctor and you be a guinea pig. We all do every once in a while, we, we have to because some things we just don't know but when you go to the doctor you don't say well oh I'm not gonna take this pill because oh it may burn or it may cause cancer you don't know it until you 
try it out. So that's what I'm saying. Some things, you know, we have great ideals and just don't investigate because we're afraid. Um, but always test it on the um, your thighs or in your the bending of your arm before you try anything. But um, comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. And let me know what you think. Until next time, you guys, have a healthy day. See you later, healthy game.